Hey guys, welcome back to MassiveSynth.com tutorials. This is part three of the special effects feature we've been doing with Massive this month. And in this tutorial, I was going to show you how to make that short sweep sound. <laughs> once again all the programming there has been done with inside massive using a kind of sustain loop on the envelope and some kind of high pass sweeps and stuff like that so there's plenty of programming going on so yeah start off with a new sound and program the oscillators oscillator one we can have a synformant wavetable and pull the wavetable position down slightly and activate the bend minus plus mode and have the intensity just below three quarters of the way up and keep it rooted to both filters turn on oscillator 2 and this can stay as a square saw pull the wavetable position so it's similar kind of just just past three quarters of the way up intensity can stay on full amp can stay on full and keep it in spectrum mode route it to both filters oscillate free turn that on and we can actually select the sine square for this one and just pull the wavetable position around to about a third of the way and pitch down two octaves so that's providing the kind of sub element to the patch and yeah everything else can pretty much stay the same and we're also going to be using this modulation oscillator a bit for this sound so turn that on and the phase modulation activate that on oscillator one and just pull the amount down to about a third of the way up Okay, so let's move over to the filter section next, and I'm actually going to set these filters up so they're in serial mode, so the sound's going to pass through these oscillators into filter 1, through filter 1, into filter 2, and then to the output, so and then that means, and then we'll have this mix slider down to mix 2, so you're going to get that signal throw oscillators, filter 1, filter 2, then output, so filter 1, I'm going to select a comb filter, and with that pitch rising, a bit of distortion clip in there. It's quite a cool effect on the sound. So I'm going to modulate that pitch there, push the damping up to about three quarters, and pull the feedback down slightly. And so yeah, just leave this pitch at around quarter of the way up for now. And then once the sounds pass through there, we're going to go into this filter, and we're going to select a high pass filter for this one. going to modulate this cut frequency so we get this high pass sweep on there as well. So the next thing we could set up is some pitch modulation on the oscillators and use a stepper to do this similar to how we kind of set the stepper up in some of the previous effects videos. Sync it and take the ratio down to 1 over 4 and with the snap to grid function activated just kind of increase the steps by by one on each step something like that or maybe turn that off so it's continually rising like that and again let's activate the glide modulation on these steps and push the glide mod amount up to full so we get a smooth transition in between the steps and then use this stepper to modulate the pitch of all three oscillators and the modulation oscillator and take the amount up by plus 12 so we get this rise now actually use this stepper to also modulate the pitch of this comb filter which will just increase add to that kind of rising effect ok 
Okay, so next we could now set up some frequency modulation here in this modulation oscillator. So go to the filter FM and apply it to filter 2, the high pass filter. So which sounds pretty cool, it will affect, and the fault could actually modulate this amount here as well. So pull the cutoff back down to zero and use this stepper again, the crosshair this stepper, drag it over to the frequency modulation here, click and drag up so the amount is applied to full. So now along with the pitch of this cone filter rising and the pitch of the oscillators rising, you also get this increased amount of uh, frequency modulation. So just adds to that rise effect. So the next thing we can do is set up the high pass sweep. So use an envelope to do this. Envelope 2, back the attack off, increase the sustain to full and check the trigger zero reset box and drag the crosshair this envelope to the cutoff frequency of filter 2. So now we'll get this high pass sweep on the sound. <laughs> So the sound just kind of like filters out to sort of nothing really, which would be quite cool to have that just before it kind of drop in a track. So with all of that set up, we could actually move to envelope one and set up the sustain loop envelope. So it's actually going to use this envelope to modulate the pitch of these oscillators again. So holding shift, click and drag the crosshair and drop it in the second modulation, pitch modulation slot of all the oscillators and the modulation oscillator and then we'll just apply plus 12 the modulation amount so we've got the stepper and this envelope modulating the pitch now I'm going to set this envelope up slightly differently so about the attack off so we've got a sort of attack phase like that on the track on the sound and then pull the decay down to zero and the level of the sustain can stay halfway and then we're going to activate this sustain loop here so with the sustain loop at halfway I'm gonna in here while well, the loop here I'm gonna set it to infinite so the sound, as long as we've got a key pressed, it's going to loop over this. Once it reaches the sustain point of this envelope, it's going to loop over this section infinitely until we let go of the key, and then it reaches the release phase. Uh, and I'm going to set up a morph in here. So, I'm going to go for curve, curve four in the first morph, and then the second morph, curve six. So it's going to loop, this is basically kind of envelope shape what it's going to loop through and then push the level up to full. And we've got that quite cool sort of kind of sustain phase on the, on the sound now. Well, we could actually give the sound even more movement here because if we move this sustain loop the sustain loop actually gets shorter as you pull this down. So. so that sounds pretty cool. So we could use this same envelope here, this envelope 2, what's modulating the cut off frequency, the high pass filter. We could use this to modulate this sustain loop. Click and drag this cro crosshair over to the sustain, sustain loop modulation box. Click and drag down. So now we get this. <laughs> You know, and all of this programming is just being done by holding down one key, and you know, no automation being done with outside of massive whatsoever. So we've got quite a lot of control over the sound now. So with all of this set up, I think we can just finish the sound off with some effects. Uh, put a dimension expander in, so it just gives it a bit of space. Pull the dry wet and size down. <laughs> And add a chorus as well. Let's just thicken the sound a bit, just pull the dry wet down a bit. And 
and finally go to this voicing section here increase the voices to four and make the sound monophonic and we can actually use a bit of this kind of unison spread here and just pull the slider amount across to the right ever so slightly so just getting a bit of pitch detuning on those voices and this width as well we can just make the sound really nice and wide take that glide off too and then that's the sound finished off really there's one final thing actually look at this we've actually got a bit of extra pitch bend programmed in there so in order for that to have an effect on the sound this pitch bend here a massive put that to plus 12 so now you'll get a bit of extra kind of pitch rise on there Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch and hope to see you for part four of this series where we'll be looking at making a kind of sort of heavily modulated impact downlifter sound in Massive. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.